Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So, in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing types of inheritance. Till now, we have discussed single inheritance, multiple inheritance, and multi-level inheritance. Right? So, the next is hierarchical inheritance. This thing we will see in this video with the help of proper exam. Right? So, what is hierarchical inheritance? See, in single inheritance, one parent class, one child class. In multi multiple inheritance, we have more than one parent class and one child class right in multi-level we can also derive or we the, the child class can in, inherit properties or you can say attributes or methods from a derived class as well that is multi-level inheritance hierarchical inheritance means now we have one parent class and from this class you can derive multiple child class child one child two up to N. So, this is hierarchical inheritance, right? Like our father or our parent and son and daughter, like this. So, from one parent to child, like this. Or two or more than two child, means more than one child. One parent and more than one child. It can be any number of child. So, this type of thing is known as hierarchical inheritance, right? Now, let's see with the help of program. Okay, so let's create a new file, hierarchical inheritance.py. So we'll take one class. Okay, you can write down this thing also, right? And because here the root class or the base class, all the classes are object class, right? Now we can use some built-in functions and properties of object class, like super function, init function, like this, right? Or if you don't write any in bracket no object class, then automatically in Python 3.x, in Python 3.x version, automatically it will, it will inherit object class, right? Okay, now we are having only one class, human. And let's suppose, you know, first let's take a function. Now let's have one more class and that class I'm having male and this male is inheriting from human class, right? Male is child class, human is base class or super class or parent class we can say. And here we have one more method. So one more class I am going to take and that is female. So we know male and female both are human, right? So both are deriving from the same class that is human class. All the properties and attributes whatever in human class. So human can eat, so obviously male can eat, female can eat, right? So let's have female class and we are also deriving this class from human class only so we have now two child class and one parent class and this also having its own property like sorry on methods and attributes so i'm just taking method here like i can code so only two classes i'm going to take okay now let's create an object of first female class and i'm taking like female underscore one the object name and female sorry it's not false like the class name should be capital like it's convention if you take small f that is also fine but we follow pascal case convention while uh, you know uh, naming a class so the first letter of each word should be capital so let's take here from female class now with the help of this object, female1, with the help of this object, what you can access C, dot, we can access eat from human class, work from female class and init function would be called from object class, right? Is there any init function in female? No. Female is inheriting from human. In human also to have init function? No. So it will search the base class of every class it means the root class is object class so that is why it is driving in it from object class now it can access with this we can access only eat sorry dot eat from human and work from female you cannot access this sleep from male right because male and female they are not having any connection here in the form of you know right now in the form of inheritance hierarchical inheritance i am uh, saying this because they are having no like relationship 
we cannot access this method or attribute of male class using female class object or you cannot access attribute or method of female class using male class object right but both can access properties of human class so if you want to print like eat yeah that is fine now it will print i can eat see right okay now using male class object also if if you want to create a male class object as well and like this so with the help of this object male one you can access c eat from human class same thing sleep from male class no work method you can access from female class and eat from object class right so i want to access sleep the number sleep will print i can sleep whole day or same thing if you want to access like eat that is also fine let me just show you see two time it will print i can eat i can eat one for female one for male like this and if you have suppose i am having now some attribute method i guess you know methods now we have attribute and in human i am having two thing every human will have their name and age so like self dot attribute name i am taking same as parameter name name you can take different as well it's up to you age equal to age two parameter i am going to take right and suppose let's take one more uh, here like what uh, function show details right and this function will simply print from where you can access this name obviously self dot name attribute sorry and comma age also we can access self dot we have an attribute age like this two function i am ha having in human show detail and eat right so using female now see let's comment out these two lines we are just creating female object right now let's run this see what will happen now you will get an error in line number 15 in line number 15 when you are creating this object you are calling this constructor in it human dot in it miss, missing two required positional argument name and age because now which in it function will be called let's if you want to check out you can just print here here calling in it from human class so you will get to know now see obviously you will not get uh, get anything because still we have an error while calling this we are calling in it from human class so in human class in it function is having name and age so you have to pass two parameter while calling while creating this thing right and if suppose i create like maybe gia and just age two parameter it will not give any error see calling in it from human class and i can eat right and with the help of this female object you know we can access this attributes name and see name and age two field if you want to print age it will print 20 sorry to print you have to write down print statement hamesha main kyun bhul jati hu okay now let's it's fine age is 20 like this right so if there are some attributes some methods in one class and more than one in more than one classes i want to access those things so you can use this type of inheritance hierarchical inheritance right and see suppose in mail as well i am having this its own init function so mail obviously mail is having name and age so these both two things we can access from human class name and age no need to define its own right so name comma age and one more thing suppose i am taking location right so to initialize name and age simply call this init from human class super class so one way is just write down the name of the class dot which function you want to call in it and you have to pass cell and then the parameter name two parameter name name and age right so if see 
this name and age this name it's not compulsory it should be same as this name if you take like m underscore name that is also fine but here you need to take m underscore name these two parameter names should be same right m underscore age you need to take m underscore age okay and one more attribute it is having suppose this is location and same name i'm taking location right so right now it will not give any error because see it's working fine although maybe you will say i have now three parameter then it should say you have to pass three parameter but no because female is inheriting from human class this in it male i have told you male and female are not having any connection here in case of hierarchical inheritance right so you know only to worry if human class you will add one more parameter then it will give error right so if you create an object of male class then let's comment out these thing and with help of male one it will give now error because it will create when you are creating this init function will, will be called and the mro is what first it will check in male class only if you want to print the mro then also you can print like print and for male class male dot mro let's print this okay first you need to figure out you need to you know correct this thing while creating this because we are calling in it from male only so three parameter name age and location you need to pass while creating the object so male name i am taking simply maybe like ram let's take our capital and age i am taking maybe 34 and what is next thing location location is like maybe delhi let's run this See calling in it from human class. See it is calling in it from both the classes, human as well as male. If you want to check out, let's just print this statement here as well. Let's run this. See male, human, both the classes. And MRO is what? First it will check in male class, then human class, and then object class, which is root for all the classes. So for in it, it will check first in male. In male, we have in it, yes. So it will call init function, you have to pass three parameter, then it will print first line this, calling init from male class, then it will call init from human class. So control will go to here in init, in this init function, then first line it would print this, then name and age it will assign, right? Self here, self means referring to the object of male class. In female as well, let's have its own init function. And in here, obviously, it will take name and age. Every female is also having name and age. From human class, we can inherit. One more thing, one more attribute we can take, maybe like can dance. So for this, for name and age, to initialize name and age, just call in it from super class or human class. Just call super function dot. What you need to call the name in it? No need to pass self. Here, just you need to pass the parameter name, name and age super super classes human class so in human class we are calling in it so it is going to accept name and age right and it's one parameter can dance so i'm taking attribute name no dancing is equal to can dance now just comment out these line and let's create female object so now you need to pass not gi and 20 only it will give error see while creating this you are missing one required positional argument can dance so can dance means it is expecting either true or false so i'm just writing here true it will not give any error now calling in it from human class because it is calling in it from both uh, female and so let's print this line as well in female class so it is calling from female class as well as from human class i can eat and 20 right like this and if you want to uh, show the detail of female so let's define one more function here def show details underscore f okay and now it should print name age as well as can dance so no need to print like name and age again you can just call from human class 
show form show details right and there you just need to pass self that's it and the third we can print excel dot no dancing right and using female object I, I don't want to call the seat I want to call see show details you can call either for human or you can call show detail for female so let's call this thing let's run this calling in it from female as well as human then it is showing the detail name age no dancing true and age 20 for this line like this you can I uh, like call method from super class as well right so you can add your own functionality as well as you can call whatever in super class by just calling the uh, super class function either with the help of super function like this or with the help of the name of that super class right so you can try this out you can create more than two classes as well from the same base class from same human class right so i hope you got what is hierarchical inheritance so one assignment for you is now see you have to create one super class as you can take a person class right you can take some attribute there two attribute and two methods and like in a university we are having student as well as faculty both are person or maybe human so from person class you are driving student class and one more is faculty class right and student class is having, having its own one more attribute and its method and faculty class is also having its own some attributes and methods right so you have to create like these two classes right and you have to access the super class attribute and methods the person class attribute and method with the help of student object as well as faculty object so this is your assignment you have to try this out okay you can just write down that simple code in comment section so in the next video we will see hybrid inheritance so now i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care